grow to the 85th percentile. If you go out here on your main street, your 85th percentile should be around 25. Should be. what the reasonable driver drives on that stretch of road. That's how we establish our speeds. And so the reason I'm sharing that too is just I think it's good information for people to know. So we we you know we do our speed study and speeds are set at the 85th percentile. So so when folks do ask us, like for example, up in Orovada, uh, lower it to it's at, it's currently set at 45 and they want it even lower. And we did a speed study and folks are moving through at 67 60, miles an hour. Yeah. And so I'll ask the officer, what would happen if we lowered it even more? Lower it or better? Mm -hmm. Well, just in, in general, if you lower your speed even more than what the 85th, you know, 85% of the, the average public is cruising, what's going to happen? People are going to say it's a speed trap and they're just going to speed. <laughs> well, there is that. Speed that. There, anyway. there is that. We're going to have crashes that are going to be even bigger, though. We're going to have folks that are. There's a big gap between what folks are traveling at and then what you lower it to, and what you know, it's it gets ugly, and so that's kind of why I wanted to share that because um, so we do set speeds at the 85th percentile. So I'm not sure though, but that's absolutely something we can put on here. Again, that's something that um, I feel like I'm derailing you guys a little bit, but um, you know, being the safety, we're looking at how we set speeds throughout the state and trying to design your roads so that they're, so that they're self-enforcing mm -hmm. and that your people actually, you know, they don't feel like they can drive 80 through there. Right. They feel like it's what we need for a safe speed. So, um, go ahead. so I think instead of lowering the speed and being possibly counterproductive, yep. mm -hmm. a turn lane would be the best. I, put, I have a note for look at speed and uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Because it's also has the most challenges. Right. So is it a turn lane? Is it an acceleration, deceleration if you've got trucks? Yeah, I mean, we'll take that back. We'll get it operationally. Okay. So, good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And to that point, that, that was what I brought up on the intersections uh, at, at Black Cat, <coughs> there at 6 and 318, and then at uh, Alder at 93 and 93 up at Boggies. You've got, on both those intersections, you've got trucks that are coming up, they're pulling an uphill pull to a stop sign and they don't want to stop so they're right. going to roll through that and and you've got traffic that's shooting into that and man at both those intersections i've either ended up in the other lane luckily with nobody coming or in the bar dish because that truck will roll right out in front of you and if we could just come out of those widen that road and put in a a, a, a mile of or a half mile of merge lane mm -hmm. where they don't stop they just roll into a, a blockaded merge lane mm -hmm. and that let them maintain some speed and then roll in when there's a break i think we could how far is that from here 23 miles we have time we can just we can take yeah. the other one's about 60 miles north at, uh, at logging junction what was the other one you were just talking, the one you were just talking about though. Yeah, the, that one's down it's uh black jagged six and 318. okay right. yeah. But yeah, they, used to have, they, they used to have things like that on the other side of, yeah. of Connor Summit, like okay. when you're coming from P.O., yeah. you know, you would just make that corner and keep going, and you're doing an acceleration lane, mm -hmm. and another one down by uh, Baker, and they took them out. Yeah. One other thing, sorry to interrupt here, Lacey just brought up a good point, and I forgot to bring this up. So <coughs> we're learning as we're, we're going. Um, when it comes to development in the county and in the city, um, you know, please, if you're not already, invite NDOT to the table when you're having development meetings, development review, things like that, for things like truck stops. Um, it's very important. We would love, love, love to collaborate and partner with you at the beginning of a project so we can have folks, and you can put that back on the developer you know, to pay for these turn lanes and things like this in and out. Um, we would much rather collaborate. Absolutely. So I'm not sure if we already, do you guys have local coming to the table for those things? Or, uh -oh. Well, we don't have a budget. I'm sure we don't have a budget at all. But, in that sense, you know, we had lots of trucks off three years ago. Right. But that is a developer that would be a great one to have pay for that lane. Yeah, can't do that. We, yeah, we can't go back and do it, but we're learning. And um, the other thing we're learning too is some developers like to um, pit us against each other. <laughs> so they'll put the county in NDOT and we end up doing this when we're like, wait a minute, we're on the same tape page yeah. here. So, yeah. so please feel free to reach out.
reach out if, if that does happen in the future and you do have developments coming up in the area. Um, you know, we can be the bad guy too and say, you know, based on our traffic study, this is what you all should do, and then you hold them to that. And if developers want it, right. they'll pay for it. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to circle back around to the shoulder issue that was brought up by Pat Thorpe because I think that's an important one. Absolutely. There is no room for error on that highway that he was talking about. Mm -hmm. It. I mean, you've got a 75 or a 70 mile an hour speed limit there. With no room for error, you hit that edge, you're done. You're done. So yeah. I think that needs to be on that list somewhere. And I think top priority number one. I I think it needs to be high. Um, I'm not the decision makers on behalf of the county. I'm just a really concerned citizen who drives that road and knows that if I drift at all, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Well, Lisa, did you introduce yourself? Sorry, you came in after. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm Elizabeth Francis, and I'm the finance director of White Pine County. Wonderful. Thanks for coming. We'll have you sign in. Too. <laughs> okay, I thank would you. say put it somewhere in the top three. Okay. I mean, you just have any the other stuff that's feasible, yeah. that's always yeah. more feasible. And some of these things yeah. realign and put a bridge for wildlife. Wildlife are going to cross where they cross it, no matter where you put a sign. Most wildlife incidents are people driving too fast at nighttime and they're not able to see them. Um, I mean, you can do all you want there. It still comes down to you can't fix stupid. Yes, so, especially um, in the Why do we hear that a lot? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like the rede redesignate 318 to alternate 93. Um, that number three? I would, yeah, I mean, that. I'm, I'm sure that's a high priority here in White Pine County, but I bet you Lincoln County has a whole other. That's why on it. Yeah. Because That's Lincoln why County wants those weekend. people to keep coming through mm -hmm. the ocean right. Right. things promote their town. But if that were to go through, I would rather it be put as, you know, make the one up near the north alternate 93 and that south alternate 93. Because uh -huh. you'd be amazed the amount of confusion we get with people reporting accidents. Sure, they don't and know where the they are. And the dispatch office gets it all screwed up and we yeah. get sent the wrong direction and yeah. we turn around and go the other direction. Uh -huh. I mean, it causes a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we get we get travelers coming through. They have no idea where they're. I don't know. I'm into that. Right, right. I just pass the <laughs> <Really? laughs> <laughs> Don't do us a lot of good. You know what I mean? You can't just see them out the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need a little more designation on something. So, and then I appreciate that you also. You're the first county taking into consideration another county and how it impacts them. My hat's off to you. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're a yeah. yeah. really need to have together. So, where, Adam, you and Pat, where would you guys think would be appropriate to put this? So, like at number three and move the next one down? Is that what you were saying? I would say number two because the stoplight at Fifth Street's already been taken out, so I don't even know it's yeah. on the list. So, that's there a great know. example of yeah. the move. There you okay. go. Yeah, number two has been done. So yeah. it's yeah. off. So number two is the, the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great discussion. Thank Bring you. Two up to three, or three up to two. No, but shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder. 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 And then leave yeah. three where it's leave at. Leave three where it's at. We need to look at potentially yeah. um, alternate ninety three north, alternate ninety three south. And number two's not done. I mean, oh, maybe that done? first sentence, the stoplight's gone, uh -oh. but the actual completion of the project. Because they wanted to replace the it. Because they want to put it back. Yeah, they oh, want to put, put it back, back to back. help slow down yeah. the traffic. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, true. I don't think yeah, it I, should go back. Huh. Yeah. You do think it should? I don't. Oh. I don't either. No, no, yeah. So, that's your no call, so no need for it. Okay, so we're taking that one off. So we still want the project done, we still want the stoplight. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Well, and does the, what we talked about with the meetings, does this also fall in line with what I told you? Yes. That's yes. what Kevin is saying. Yes. So we have also at NDOT, and um, I don't know, maybe I should not talk about that, but <laughs> you can tell them if you want. We're, Go ahead. Well, I, I don't have the full story. I just know that we're going after a grant to assist with complete streets, I believe is what it, something mm -hmm. along those lines in the city project. And I just let BJ know before we started, I heard from the project manager that, um, there will be information on Tuesday, and he'll be reaching out to us. So it's good. Right. It's good project. I mean, I, our involvement with that because we're we're still continuing. Like it's coming on in two years. Mm -hmm. that's what yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so we're continuing yeah. here, but this might be some new information that 
maybe they're trying to get. Yeah. And honestly, with 